Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Saudi Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza. Now here's the news you need to know. It's supposed to be high season, but Mother Nature doesn't care as meteorologists say that thunderstorms are expected to intensify across southern Thailand in the coming days, bringing heavy rainfall to the region. The rainfall will affect Phuket and the Andaman coast along with Krabi, Suratani, Pangna and the rest of the southern provinces. The news comes just as lifeguards on Phuket beaches warn beachgoers of bigger and stronger waves along the Andaman's west coast after a few minor incidents at Patong and Naitong beaches yesterday where first aid treatment was administered. And if officials in Bangkok have their way, the emergency medical care will be free for patients at both state-run and private hospitals for the first 72 hours. Officials say they hope to have the new regulations in effect before the start of Songkran in mid-April and is aimed at lowering the cost of emergency medical care around the country. According to a report from the Bangkok Post, in addition to free emergency care, private hospitals would also not be allowed to transfer emergency patients to state-run hospitals until after the first 72 hours. And the heir of the Red Bull Empire in Thailand is back in the news five years after he allegedly killed a cop by running him over as he's due to show up at the prosecutor's office tomorrow to face the charges. The September 2012 incident saw boss Uvidia accused of being the driver of the Ferrari that slammed into a police officer on a motorcycle, then allegedly dragged the body along the road before he left the scene, leaving the cop for dead. Boss had not spent one day in jail for the hit and run incident, and he's repeatedly no showed several scheduled hearings with police with claims that he's sick or out of the country on business. Despite a 3 million baht settlement with the family of police senior sergeant major Wichian Glamprasert, police are still moving ahead with the charges as the statute of limitations runs out on many of them later this year. This story is ongoing. And sit tight, Phuket Extra. I'll be right back after this. Strength and conditioning classes. Phuket only official CrossFit. Yoga. Basic and Olympic lifting. Mobility and recovery classes. Ice bath. Saunas and free weights. Go hard or go home. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. When officials placed a tax notice in front of the house of Taksin Shinawat's ex-wife to collect 17.6 billion baht, they officially set in motion a battle that is likely to play out in court as the former prime minister attempts to appeal the decision. It all stems from the revenue department's decision to collect the 17.6 billion baht in taxes and fees from the Shim Court share sale deal, in which Taksin's children are accused of being proxies while shares were acquired and resold to another company at a massive profit all through the stock exchange of Thailand. A spokesperson for the former premier said he's already hired a legal team to appeal and fight the decision, and this story is ongoing. And a so-called animal lover is now in jail for possessing and allegedly trying to sell four slow lorises on Facebook. Police arrested 30-year-old Kalia Pon Kruktum at her home in Bangkapi, where authorities found eight of the animals being held in cages in her bedroom. Kalia Pon admitted to buying a few of the animals at the Chatuchak weekend market in Bangkok with the intent of breeding them to sell for up to 7,000 baht online. And she now faces up to four years in jail and a fine of up to 40,000 baht for the charge of possession and illegally trafficking animals. And when officials were dragging their feet and fixing potholes on a road near the airport here in Phuket, a foreign man literally took matters into his own hands and he's being praised all over for it. Photos and a video of the local resident shows him mixing cement and sand to patch up the holes on the road, which is about three kilometers from the Phuket International Airport in Nayang. The Phuket News attempts to reach out to local officials in the area who are in charge of the road, 
were met with confusion with the local and provincial administration organization saying that the road is neither of their responsibility, blaming each other for the mishap. And that's it for Puka Extra today. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. This is the Phuket News. This is Novosti Phuketa, the Russian newspaper for Phuket. This is Puji Dao Ji Wen, the Chinese newspaper for Phuket. And this is Kao Phuket, the new Thai language newspaper for Phuket. Available at over 600 locations across the island. Stay up to date with the latest news in any language. Pick up your copy today. Your island, your paper.